Okay, so today we're going to be rebuilding this master cylinder that I'm using for my clutch. You can see it's had fluid all over it. It is actually like eating away at the paint on it. And the reason we're rebuilding it is actually it was leaking brake fluid out of here. So when I would go to push my clutch in, I'd get a little bit of pressure. And then uh, I'd lose all the pressure on my slave cylinder because all the fluid you can actually kind of... <laughs> might be able to see it. Not really. A lot of fluid coming out of that hole right there. So I went on Willwood's website. I bought their rebuild kit for one of these. I've never rebuilt one of these before, but I don't think it's that hard. And we're just gonna get right into it here. So it's pretty easy to get this thing out apart. It uh, just has a few parts inside of it and nothing else. a little aluminum piston. I suspect it was that front o-ring that was leaking. And I got a new kit here, but if you look, the uh, piston is different from the piston I have, and it just has this one big spring behind it. So let's take a look, compare the two. Yeah, they look pretty different. At this point I'm thinking, oh, maybe they updated the kit to a newer piston and, you know, one spring instead of two. Maybe I'll see how springy these springs are. But, uh... Anywho, I had the wrong kit. So, I uh, decided to focus on cleaning up the master cylinder itself. Took a wire brush and a razor blade and scraped up all the scraped off all the old paint. I took some engine enamel that I had and uh, just gave it a nice coat. Unfortunately, it doesn't say Willwood on the side anymore, uh, but uh, it looks much better and much cheaper than buying a brand new one. I think the rebuild kits were like 22 bucks, and the master cylinder itself is like 85 dollars. So the new one came in. You can see it says short remote, which is what I have. The other ones were for uh, regular sized ones. And this one came with a bunch of paperwork. The other one didn't come with any paperwork, so just thought I'd give it a quick quick check here. And uh, it was nice because this one came with a diagram that showed how to assemble it, but no other things were checked on this piece of paper that looked like some of the things should have been checked. So the only thing I had to go by was the picture. Yeah, when we look at the two pistons, same ones. Got a nice new clean towel because uh, I didn't want to lay the newly painted master cylinder on a towel full of brake fluid that would just eat away at the new paint. For some reason my boot came all scrunched up so I had to you know, get it all elongated again. And 
funny enough, this kit actually had less stuff in it. So the other kit, the full-size kit, came with O-rings for the uh, reservoirs, but this one didn't come with new O-rings. So I don't know why that is. Maybe they skimped out on the O-rings because they make the piston out of aluminum, I'm not sure. But uh, I just cleaned up the old one, put it on there, took a look at the new piston. Shoved the springs up inside there and then uh, went to try to shove it into the cylinder, but uh, it was a little tough, so I got some lube and lubed it up, and then uh, it was much easier to slide in there. So now the little pusher rod goes in, and the snap ring goes on top of that washer, and you have to press the whole thing so that you can get the washer behind where the snap ring goes. But uh, if you guys are like me, I only have two hands. So if I had three hands, this would be much easier. But this was a little bit of a struggle. Slide the boot on there. Struggle to get the boot over the cylinder case. And the last piece of the puzzle here, just slide the locking nut back on there. And it's done. That was it. Just gotta put it back in the car and see if my clutch starts working better now. I believe it should. Hopefully this is going to end all of my clutch woes. This was kind of a difficult thing to find because it wasn't leaking that badly.